In Excel, the VLOOKUP formula is used to look up descriptive information necessary to augment your tables. In this video, we'll discuss how to use this formula effectively and walk through several examples. In our example, we're going to use a VLOOKUP to pull in descriptive information for a subset of our employees. On the left, we have a subsection of our employees that we want to understand their name, their hire date, rating, salary, and a salary bucket. What I can use is a VLOOKUP. If you type equals VLOOKUP, it will pull up the four parameters that a VLOOKUP uses. So a lookup value, a table array, a column index number, and a range lookup. Your lookup value will be the common value between your two tables. So in this instance, it is our employee number. As we will use our employee number in our new table, to look up our employee number in our lookup table. I'm gonna lock this in its column and leave the row flexible. Next is my table array. I'll highlight my full table array and I'll use F4 to lock that in place. Third is my column index number. This is the column you want to return. I want to return the second column, which is my employee name. And then my range lookup. Do you want an approximate match or an exact match? We want an exact match. So I'll put false and hit enter. And if I fill that down, I can see 3374 is Terry Dactyl, 3487 is Paige Turner. If I take this column and I drag it one column to the right, you can see that nothing has changed. And the reason for that is because my column index number is still two. If I change this to three and fill that down, now what I've done is I've returned the date or the third column in my table array. And I have the higher date for each one of my employees. If I see Hugo first is January 24th, 2020. And what I can see is January 24th, 2020 in my lookup table. If I drag this to the right one more time, what I can do is I can change this to four. I have the ratings for my employees. One more time, if I drag this over, I can change this to five. And now I have the salaries. So very helpful for pulling discrete descriptive information from a lookup table. The next thing we want to do is understand what salary bucket these employees fall into. If I use a VLOOKUP on my salary bucket table, the first thing I want is my lookup value. That is going to be my salary as that is what I'm using to look up on my lookup table. My next will be my table array, which is my salary bucket table locked in place with F4. And then my column index number is the column I want to return. I'm actually going to use an approximate match here and I'll explain why. So if I fill this down, you can see all of these are pulling in correctly. I get 75,000 to 100,000, 75 to 100, over 100, 50 to 75, greater than 100. That's because I'm using an approximate match. If I change this back to false and look for an exact match, none of these salary buckets would pull in. Why is that? It's because the value of $111,009 doesn't exist in our table. So it can't match exactly. Same with $67,619. It doesn't exist in our table. So what we need to use is an approximate match. If you're using an approximate match, make sure your table is structured in an ascending list of numbers. Thank you. 